Boogie's at Boogie's Diner. Stick around. Quirk is so thoughtless. He entered a science competition and won first prize. Of course, he couldn't appear as an eight-year-old astrophysicist, so Father had to take his place. <sighs> Meanwhile, Lox accidentally assumed all the costumes Mother had made for her fashion show, so he kinetized some more material from Zerba. Voila! Father was so hopeless that Quirk wired him for sound so he could prompt him. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hey! Things were going perfectly until a pizza thing got stuck onto our wavelength. Ham, olives and mushrooms. Uh, sorry, to Riley Street, Westbridge. Yes. So Quirk simulated into a brilliant old physicist. Well, Mr Jackson, what would you say to that? Father escaped and Quirk got the prize. Our day ended triumphantly with Mother's fashion show, but then she dropped a bombshell. She'd been invited to Paris. <laughs> Are we going? Well, of course. It's the opportunity of a yeah. lifetime. <laughs> Very good at that sort of thing, X. But at least try. Well, you're the organizer. Hello, Shane. Hi, Andrew. We came to get the leaflets. Oh, yes. We'll wait here. Father. Uh, she wouldn't listen to me anyway. She never does. Father, where's the leaflets for the restaurant? Uh, right there. Every letterbox, all right? And don't miss any out. Yes, we know. Now, if you don't mind, we have family business to discuss. <sighs> How much are we going to get, Mr. Jackson? Ten cents a leaflet? <sighs> Very well. Excellent! Ten cents a piece! Father! A deal's a deal! Hello, boys! Hi, Mr. Jackson! Bonjour, mes petites! Uh, Ooh, smells wonderful, Father. Uh, <sighs> well, what's the matter, Father? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's these onions. Oh, I could never cook. It's not the onions, Mother. He's upset. Upset? He doesn't want you to leave. None of us do. But, but, but splitting up is Earth behaviour. You wanted us to adapt, X. Not right all the time. Let me go, X. And when I come back, I'll be a better mother. Don't you realize what you've done? You've made me see what I'm not. And now I must go and find what I am. Quirk, Dovis, school. Experience, not like some 
who have to go to a library to read about it because their own family's too weird. Yeah. You two don't know anything. Your heads are so full of nail polish and nasty thoughts. You're lucky your families don't chuck you out. What was all that about? Come on, what's on your mind? Mother's leaving. Leaving? Why? She's got a job in Paris. Have you tried to talk her out of it? Of course. But she says she wants to be free. That's what my dad said. That's one thing I really hate about it. People want to be free. What it means is free to hurt others they should love. Don't blame yourself. I did that for a while. But it wasn't my fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. In my case, maybe I did have a lot to do with it. No. Mother made me running away from home because I've been too hard with her. This love thing you have on earth, it's good in lots of ways. The bad thing is, once people get under your skin, break your heart. Welcome to the human race. This blue planet changes one, doesn't it? I mean, if we were on Zergon, we could have disposed of you. Easy. After all, you are the chief. Or rather, were the chief. Since spending time on Earth, I've got these, these, these funny feelings. Like sympathy. And now Mother's leaving. I'm feeling something else. Rather odd. You have a can opening function? Probably too weak anyway. Enjoy your simple life, untroubled by emotions. We earned in an hour. I reckon we could have said 20 cents a leaflet and Mr. Jackson would have agreed. He's weird. That sort of weird I like. <laughs> well, thank you, ma'am. My pleasure, Lox. Do you like it? Hey, some shirt. Well, yes, yes, yes. I think I've caught the style. It's... It's beautiful, Mother. You know, when I first arrived here, I couldn't understand why you liked this place so much. But now I can. You can be a hero here, if you like. Like a cowboy. Or a model. Or a film star. I could never be what I am here, back on Zergon. Here, you're allowed to be yourself. Boy, these cowboys sure do have a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> we'll ask for 50 bucks. But we didn't deliver 500. You let them know. Yeah! Now, may I recommend them the strawberry and leek tarts? It's my robot. I mean, my robot. <laughs> I have a robot dishwasher. 